Hi, my name is Stephen Roddy, founder of thepageantplanet.com, and today's question comes from Elisa, who is writing this um, on behalf of her pageant boyfriend. How can you have more patience and be more positive when it comes to being in a relationship with someone who has little time to spend with you? Um, when, when I first was involved in pageantry, I was a pageant boyfriend. And so I went from having complete access to my girlfriend pretty much whenever I wanted to when she won Miss Georgia, it was like ghost recon. I mean, we went for um, a month, maybe just talking 15, 20 minutes a day, maybe. And at that, I mean, I just never, I never saw her. So it was a real strain on the relationship. But what I had to do is I had to put myself in a mental position to realize that she was pursuing her dream. And that, and I just got a text message, she was pursuing her dream. And um, that required some sacrifices of my own. But ultimately in the grand scheme of things, it was for a year, right? So I had to really like put down my selfish motives and realize that Okay, if I really said that I love this girl, then I have to be supportive of her on her journey. And on the flip side, for a title holder, uh, you have to be somewhat understanding that if the guy kind of goes through some withdrawals, I mean, yeah, your life is a whirlwind and you went from being like a local title holder to maybe a rock star where you're being invited to all these cool parties and you're getting hit on by all these new guys and you're getting all these different experiences and he's just like, what happened to my life? So being understanding and really carving out time to be a supportive girlfriend of him and to edify him when he is around people that maybe you admire would be a really good thing and help ease the process. Because ultimately, if this is a guy that you want to be with and if this is a guy that you see going with long term, then you really you want to put him in a position where his heart feels safe and as guys, it's a bit challenging to admit that sometimes, right? Uh, because we're not the best at expressing our emotions. So you want to, in essence, put him at ease that he is the number one man in your life, regardless of how many guys come up and want to get pictures or autographs, etc. That he is numero uno. So I think that you two working together from that component and that aspect would um, really help things. And honestly, and if one of the parties isn't willing to do that, and if one of the parties is not being supportive, then maybe the other option is that you two aren't right for each other, which is all right also. It's all part of the learning curve. And uh, with me and my girlfriend, it didn't work out um, because there was differences that got brought up during the journey that, I mean, after her reign, we ended up splitting up. But it was because of what happened during her reign that I realized, uh, and she realized, that, mm, okay, you're not right for me, and I realized she wasn't right for me. So, um, yeah, hope that helps. And best of luck. I hope that you all work it out and stay together for many years to come. If you'd like your questions answered here on video or by way of email, simply click the link below and sign up for our 233 strategic practice interview questions. And in there, I show you how your question can be submitted here by way of video. Um, additionally, if you found value in this video, I would request that um, you consider subscribing to it because every day we release videos just like this that help you successfully compete in pageantry and in life.